changes to the 27th. Load our, load our libraries, load our data. Currently we're averaging 20,202 cases per day, but only 815 deaths per day. Let's run our daily case report. Somewhat of a trend here, but it may be starting to fall back down here. This, this broke a long string of deaths, but you know, on the, on the positive side, it's still well below this peak here, which is good. Okay. Let's take a look at deaths. Deaths continue to remain low. You can see the moving average is still slow, a bit of a trend down here. Now you can get a better picture of the cases for the current month. You can see a clear trend back up in cases. But the deaths are, are, are actually flat to slightly increasing on average. Look at that weekly deaths. You can see we had we broke a chain here of weekly cases downtrend, the two straight weeks of a of an up of a uptick in uh, in case in, in cases, and we still have and we still have three uh, three days to go. Uh, let's see, there's a good chance that, that September's cases will not catch August cases. So that's good news. And there's a good chance that September's deaths will not catch August deaths, which would be even better news. So overall, I mean, it, it, we, we, we're not having a clear downtrend we had in cases and deaths, but the deaths, in, but the deaths still remain relatively low compared to the number of cases reported. Uh, you know, cases, uh, which is encouraging. I don't know why that is, but it's definitely encouraging that the cases, that deaths are remaining relatively low compared to the cases. So you know, this takes care of the, the U.S. for today.